Hi, in this video we are going to explore immune system, particularly innate immune system. It should not be used as a reference material to a technical course. This material has been created after reading and understanding science journals like Nature, scientific papers from National Library of Medicine and of course without Wikipedia we couldn't have done it. I thank you for joining me. Let's find out. Who is protecting us from these deadly micro-sized invaders? Each one of these has the power to destroy us, let aside making us sick. Immune system, the protector of protectors. Immune system protects us in three stages if need be. First, initiating the innate immune response. In this video, we are going to focus on this. Second, initiating the adaptive immune response. Third, making sure the protection stays. Almost all living beings have innate immune system. This system we acquire through our genes, or simply put, evolution. Since it is the first line of defense our body has against pathogen, it has to be fast. It acts within minutes, and it is broad spectrum. So it does not matter what type this pathogen is. It has a strong database regarding pathogen associated molecular pattern. It recognizes these pathogens, binds to them and destroys them in many different ways, in many efficient ways. Let's first try to know what all makes this innate immune system. First, barrier tissues physically and chemically prevent pathogens Simple example would be skin. Skin uses sweat and organic acids to keep many pathogens at bay. And gastrointestinal tract has gastric acid, bile acid and many digestive enzymes that kill many harmful pathogens. Coronavirus or similar pathogen comes from outside. So they basically start affecting the tissues first. In the tissues we have dendritic cells mast cells and macrophages waiting for these pathogens. These cells have immune receptors to recognize pathogens. Perfect. Macrophages start ingesting or simply eating these pathogens and dead cells right away and plays important role in tissue repair as well. Dendritic cells they, they are most important from my perspective, since it kills pathogens by ingesting them and plays the main role of activating the adaptive immune system. How? You will know soon. So is that it? No, of course no. Mast cells starts releasing large amount of cytokines. Cytokines are of a different league. Cytokines alarm other immune cells, activate broad spectrum white blood cells. Cytokines also stimulate blood vessels to attract circulating immune cells like neutrophils and monocytes. Cytokines combine with histamine and chemokine, which is also a cytokine. They all send signals to innate immune cells and cells of surrounding tissues. These pro-inflammatory molecules stimulate blood vessels to become leaky. Looser connection between the cells allow movement of fluid and molecules into the tissue. Circulating complement protein move from the blood into the affected tissue and bind to and kill these pathogens. Complement protein become activated on microbial surfaces, enhancing their phagocytosis, which is like eating these pathogens, or leading to lysis, which is like a cell death. Complement protein is a system consisting of more than 30 protein molecules and it is an integral part of innate immune system. I know, I have made it more like an advanced course in immunology, but trust me on this. This knowledge is worth all the pain you go through and I will simplify the data all, almost always. So with it, let's say hi to neutrophils and monocytes. Neutrophils and monocytes are two of the most important white blood cells in the immune system. They live in blood and are part of the innate immune system. But if they live in blood, how do they help with the infection in tissues? A very good question indeed. So the pro-inflammatory molecules stimulate blood vessels to become leaky. Looser connections between the cells allow movement of fluid and molecules into the tissue. 
So now you see how important inflammation is. And so are these pro-inflammatory molecules. Yeah, and now you also know that when you have swelling and that part is painful and red and it is warmer as compared to other parts, you have inflammation, which means the innate immune cell of your tissues, they are asking for help from the innate immune cells living in blood. Until now, we have studied about who all kills the pathogen. What about these infected cells, which virus uses to infect other cells? We have not talked about it. So let me introduce NK cells. Natural killer cells, as the name suggests, are extremely important in innate immune response as well as adaptive. It is the only lymphocyte which has innate and adaptive response both. The other two being B cells and T cells who have only adaptive response. We will learn about these two super soon. Natural killer cells with the help of its multiple receptors can destroy an infected cell. It uses perforin to punch hole in the target cell and granzyme which is a protease. It causes death of this infected cell. In the upcoming videos, you will see how natural killer cell and antibodies together destroy a plethora of pathogens. One more thing, if you want good quality natural killer cells, eat blueberries, garlic. If you want to go for supplementation, go for resveratrol, quercetin, and many probiotic supplements helps with gaining good quality natural killer cells as well. So uh, do you guys remember a few minutes back I said uh, dendritic cells are my favorite innate immune cell? <laughs> now they will be your favorite too. Innate immune system fights hard against the infection, real hard, and sometimes it fails to control the infection. Even then, it buys time for the adaptive immune system to be activated. That is very important. We all know innate immune response is fast and adaptive immune response is slow. In order to activate adaptive immune system, the dendritic cell has to carry a fragment of this antigen to the lymph node where naive T cell are waiting to be T helper and T killer cells. Okay, 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 let me explain. Just imagine there is a place called lymph node where these warriors, I'm talking about T cells now, where, where these warriors live. Each warrior is destined to destroy a special unique enemy. Dendritic cells bring a picture of this enemy to this place. This, this lymph node, it goes to all these warriors until a warrior says, yeah, I'm the one. This warrior then clones himself into millions and leaves lymph node to attack where his enemies are killing his countrymen. This is how dendritic cell does the so-called antigen presentation and initiates the activation of adaptive immune system. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. It is important, it is very important. So now we know a lot about innate immune cells, where they live, how they protect us, their functions. Everything seems picture perfect. Then why millions of us are getting sick? Official data shows around 3 lakh deaths out of 270 lakhs infected. Many statisticians around the world have said that the deaths are 3 to 8 times more than as reported which increases the mortality rate from 1.1% to 3.3% in the best case and 8.8% in the worst case, approximately. But I'm not judging anyone. I want to explain immune system further. That is, SARS-CoV-2, the virus, suppresses activation of the innate immune system, including dendritic cells, which are the antigen-presenting cells and dampens the response of antiviral type interferons. Huh, interferons. Interferons are super damn important. They are a type of cytokine and gets initiated in the innate immune response. Interferons inhibit viral replication in infected cells. See, it is an innate response. It activates and enhances antigen presentation. We just talked about it without which 
killer T cells and antibodies would never be made. Directly and indirectly, they act on T cells and B cells that, that, that make up the memory response. We'll talk about it in the adaptive immune system. Basically, this, this cytokine acts as a master regulator promoting pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory response. Me beat macrophages, dendritic cells, natural killer cells, all of these have interferon type 1 receptor. So, having a receptor of interferon means they, they have to obey the command of interferon. Just imagine, if the virus cannot dampen the interferon response, our innate immune cells can perform far, far better and our adaptive immune system would be activated earlier and then take care of the infection, period. See you soon with another video on adaptive immune system and thanks for bearing me.